Like many of you know, I'm, I'm a member of the LDS Church, and uh, Porter Rockwell was his name. He was a uh, you know a protector back in the day, and basically he was you know known as one of the most deadly men around, and known as a guy that never died. One of the favorites of my father, so I guess when it came time to, to name a son, that's that's who he chose. And those nicknames the Destroying Angel. It's a touchdown, USA, and it is Trojan Town once again. Um, just an exceptional talent, um, one of the top players in the state of Utah at that time and um, we saw him as somebody that uh, was a rare talent off the edge uh, as a pass rusher. Yeah, so my journey to USC it started with, you know, at the beginning of my recruiting, this was really the the first school to offer me that was, you know, a big time school, big time name. What what I think really did it for me is just uh, growing up when USC was in its prime years, when, when, you know, they were winning national championships in that culture then. And, and as a kid, I always grew up just, uh, you know, with with USC known as the, you know, the best team, the team to beat. Ready, go, one, two, there it is, perfect corner, perfect corner. Uh, His work ethic is extremely, extremely rare and unique. Uh, we call him the dominator. I think every time the Porter gets the opportunity to take a break, you, you always find him outdoors somewhere in Utah. Um, some of the best videos uh, I, I've seen out there that have made me smile is him enjoying himself uh, in the great outdoors of the beautiful state of Utah. I've always really been into you know hunting, fishing, just getting outdoors and, and being in the mountains. That's you know that's a place I've always felt comfortable and, and you know just at home. My family built a house in the mountains. You know, 20 minutes away from any any you know, real civilization. So we were always up in the mountains and just, you know, exploring, shooting guns, riding four-wheelers, uh, you know, going on hikes, just really, really getting in the elements and, and you know, having, having our fun out there, you know, instead of inside uh, or on the streets and, and playing video games and whatnot. We were, we were out in the rocks. How are we feeling? It's hailing. It's hailing. It's we hailing. just went through a hailstorm. Three in the morning. Just stopped. Gotta love it. On the grind. Gotta love it. It's hurting. I know two things that are very important to, to Porter and his family and the way he grew up. One is his faith. To be able to see how important his faith was, his family was, you know, mom and dad led the way in going on missions and, and helping people across the country. And so he was, he grew up the right way. My dad went on a mission to Ecuador. Um, he, he was 19, so it was well before my time. And my, my mother actually went on a mission to Sweden. You, you typically you'll go at 18 or 19 years old and I was really heavy in the recruiting process and um, you know chose to go play football and instead of you know take that two years off. I figure that as a football player I'm able to still make a big impact maybe even bigger than, than going out and, and serving for two years knocking door to door and, and doing that way so um, I you know as long as you know have success here at football and being become you know, the, the role model that I want to be, I think that I have the opportunity to make just as big of an impact. So. It's a weird thing going into your fourth year. Uh, you get a sense of, uh, you know, urgency. It's like, this is our last year. You know, you never know what's going to happen after the year. And so you really just give it everything you got, put everything into it. And, you know, you start to understand, you know, why you, why you put so much work into it a little bit better. Um, as a senior, you try to help the younger guys understand that there's only so much so much time that you're going to have playing football. You know, the 2015 class, you know, we've been here for four years now and we've really developed and gelled together and, you know, this is, this is our last year and it's time to really show what we got and so we're ready to roll. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for what, what we're going to get done this season.